Société Générale, one of the largest European financial services groups, reports results for 2021. Frédéric Oudéa, hello and welcome. Hello, thank you. You are the CEO of Société Générale. How did the group perform over the fourth quarter and more generally over the whole year 2021? We had in the fourth quarter of this year, again, a very strong performance across the board. And for the full year, actually, for, for the full year 2021, we are recording the best ever results of the history of the Société Générale Group. 5.3 billion euros of net profit, underlying net profit. And if I even consider the exceptional items, 5.6 uh, billion euros of net profit. We never did uh, as well as in 2021. And it's really the results and the contribution of all our activities, all our businesses. Of course, in a, in a more positive, more favorable economic and financial environment than in 2020. But we were able to accompany our clients in the, uh, in the exit, progressive exit of this pandemic. And so across the board, strong growth of revenues, good discipline on the costs, so strong Im improvement of gross operating income, a cost of risk which was very low, which remained very low and even lower at the end of the year than uh, probably in the previous quarters. All in all, again, a very strong uh, performance in terms of net profit. That feeds a, a good quarter one ratio, capital ratio, and that allows us, of course, to distribute to our shareholders uh, a good dividend, 1.65 euro per share. And on top of that, uh, a share buyback program uh, for the equivalent of 1.1 euro per share. Uh, so something like to 915 million euro of share buyback, which will be implemented in 2022. Beyond these financial results, let me just highlight that we, of course, pursued with our commitments regarding ESG, with a further delivery, further uh, results on, on that front. And all in all, I would like to conclude just by saying a big thank to the team for this extraordinary uh, collective performance uh, that they were uh, accountable for. Could you expand more specifically on the progress you've made with your major strategic business projects? I must say, beyond the strong financial performances, 2021 is a crucial year because we were able to make very significant progress in strategic, very value-creative projects. Let's start with French retail. You know we have a, a dual offering. We are building a new bank, an ambitious new bank. And we were able to have a, a positive milestone in 2021 regarding the merger of our two networks, designing in detail the precise business model. Boursorama accelerated its organic growth, 3.3 million clients end of 2021. And on top of that, was able to announce to enter into exclusive discussion with ING Direct to offer an alternative banking uh, a proposal to uh, ING clients. So it's a way to accelerate and we are going to be one year ahead of our plan with more than 4 million clients at the end of 2022. Regarding international retail across the board, it's a transformation of the business model, uh, which uh, combines branches, but also digital channels. Financial services, needless to say, the acquisition, the announced acquisition of Lisplan by ALD is a major step for the group. It is offering a 15 year of, of growth in the mobility sector with the uh, changes in the usage of our clients, whether they are corporates or retail clients. And regarding our global banking and investment solution businesses, we want to pursue the dynamic. Regarding the capital market activities, we dealt perfectly well with uh, the structured product portfolio. And we want, of course, to carry on developing these activities, as well as taking advantage of the fact that our clients are transforming their business models, want to engage in ESG, and we are very positive about the prospects of our financing and advisory activities. So as you see, some very critical strategic milestones which are building the future of the group. After a historic performance for the group, what are your priorities for 2022? Well, first, first of all, pursue with the same commercial dynamic and deliver, again, a strong set of results for 2022, needless to say. But of course, beyond, uh, as I've said, 2022 is critical for our strategic project, an intense year of preparation. And if we succeed, uh, we will enter into 2023 with a lot done to build this new Société Générale business model. And then, very importantly, of course, pursue the transformation related to 
two fundamental dimensions. Everything around ESG, we, we, we want to enshrine these issues at the heart of the strategies of our businesses. And we will take, again, further actions there. And of course, regarding the usage of digital technology, uh, as a result of, of course, this crisis, people are going to, to use more this technology. And we think it's a way to offer a better service to our clients, as well as uh, to improve our uh, internal efficiency, uh, our, uh, better uh, efficiency of our processes. So 2022 will remain a very demanding, very intense year, but I, I'm very confident uh, and, and we are engaging in this year with a very strong uh, collective positive energy uh, fed, of course, by the successes of 2021. Frédéric Oudéa, thank you. You're welcome.